minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off of the top 9. Top 9 is through the towers. GC boot to section 10.27. Stay secure the passions, not one. Pad net A. Falcon 9 is on its way to delivering Dragon to the International Space Station for its ninth commercial resupply service mission. Coming up, we have Max Q, about another second or so. It's one of the highest stress states in the vehicle. Shortly after this, in about another minute, we will have main engine cutoff. This first stage burn will last for until the 2 minute and 20 second mark. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. After we're at that point in time, we will be deploying the booster. You just heard the propulsion call up that propulsion the is nominal right now. And we've begun chilling in our Merlin vacuum engines on the second stage, getting ready for ignition right after separation. Now, because we are joining back at landing zone one, you will see uh, the, the stage one. You may not see this, but the stage one will be doing a quick flip maneuver right after separation. Head right back. And then shortly after we have uh, the second engine start, the Dragon nose cone will be separating and deployed as we leave the atmosphere of the Earth. Engine shut off. And stage separation. Stage one is ahead of its foot. And we have ignition of the second stage engine. Stage one boost back is starting. And the boost back burn for stage one has also begun. Boost back burn is continuing as planned for the first stage. S second stage looks like a nominal throttling as well. Okay, we just got confirmation that that boost back burn has engaged, so that is really great news. And the first stage is now on its way back to land. The second stage, however, is continuing on up with Dragon on top. Right, and the next milestone for Dragon is it's going to deploy that nose cone that sits at the very front of itself. Remember, when, once we're out in space, we don't need that aerodynamic shield anymore. And so the Dragon uh, spacecraft is then going to separate from the second stage and then prepare to uh, maneuver towards the International Space Station. Now this isn't just a straight line maneuver, there's actually a uh, baby step maneuvers to get as close to the International Space Station as possible without endangering it. Yes, these very short propulsive thrusts, these stop and go, stop and goes. Yeah, and you can actually see it looks uh, we're really catching up with the International Space Station as it's going around the Earth. You can see in the animation here, uh, the first stage takes off and then separates with the second stage. And the second stage with the Dragon on it is, is trying to catch up with the orbital uh, 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 parameters of the International Space Station. Right, so the animation on screen to show that it's deployed. Dragon is on its own now, and then it's going to perform those co-elliptic burns and those height adjusts. It just does one there, but it does a sequence of these in its actual phasing. And then it approaches the ISS from in underneath. It's called the nadir pointing direction, at which point it gets grappled and burned. So this is all coming up uh, shortly after we uh, separate from the second stage. Second stage burn is still going nominally right now. You can see it on your screen. Those uh, white hot exhaust gases coming out of the engine belt. Uh, and then uh, while this is all happening, the first stage is boosting its way back towards land. Yeah, we're going to continue to bring you updates as we hear about the next burn that happens. But in the meantime, uh, 
Let's keep talking about Dragon here. <laughs> and so, yeah, once it gets to the station itself, it will get grappled, and then that cannon arm, that's the mechanism that does it, will pull the Dragon spacecraft in, at which point we, we say that we're birthed. That's when the common birthing mechanism, active on the ISS side, passive on the Dragon side, it gets opened up, and the astronauts can take advantage of all that cargo that, cargo that got sent up. So uh, we're getting pretty close to some burn maneuvers for the first stage. Let's take it back up to JFED and see what's going on with the first stage. So we are just over five minutes into today's mission, and so far everything is proceeding nominally, as we like to say around here at SpaceX. That second stage engine you see on the right side of your screen putting out just about 210,000 pounds of thrust right now. It's doing its job splendidly. Uh, it is going to be burning for about another five, four minutes right now, cutting off around the nine-minute mark. Uh, they will be putting Dragon into an orbit of about 200 kilometers by 360 kilometers. Everything there looks like it's going well. Meanwhile, the first stage, you heard uh, the crowd cheer and call outs for the boost back burn. That did uh, perform successfully. Uh, looking at the track, the rocket is uh, going exactly as we want it right now. Uh, coming up in about 30 seconds right now, we're going to have the entry burn. That boost back burn, basically what it does is it uh, negates all that forward velocity and puts us on a trajectory back at landing zone one. The entry burn is really there to slow the vehicle down as it comes through the atmosphere. Uh, the atmosphere can be very damaging to the first stage, and so we basically want to slow it down as it comes into the atmosphere. We were going over 5,000 kilometers an hour, and the stage reached an apogee of over 130 kilometers, so that's a lot of energy we have to uh, take out. That, that entry burn is starting just now. Uh, it, looks like, it looks like it sounds pretty good. Uh, we are coming in through the atmosphere as of this moment. This entry burn will last for about 21 more seconds. We're seeing the image from the aft end of the rocket there. Uh, this burn will cut off in about five seconds and we have shutdown. And it looks like a good shutdown of the entry burn. Now coming up, we have the landing burn beginning in about 45 seconds or so from now. These times could vary a little bit. It's followed by touchdown and landing zone one. But right now, both on orbit and the first stage seem like they're in a good shape right now uh, for today's mission. So as you, ju as you just heard from JFED, the uh, re-entry burn of this first stage looks like it was successful. We're just waiting for that landing burn, that final burn. Um, hopefully we'll be able to see a pad shot and uh, we'll get a good look at the uh, landing burn as it comes in for a landing. Yeah, people here, as you can see, are very quiet and waiting with bated breath because this is huge. Uh, everyone is really, really excited. The first time coming back to land since the Orbcom mission back in December of last year. And as, as Tom just mentioned, we have those cameras out at landing zone one, as you can see right here. And this is where we're going to see the Falcon 9 return. You should see the range of the we can't promise it, but the footage should be better than on the drone ship because the video cameras are a little bit further away. You can see the vehicle's plumes coming into frame now. That That's Falcon, Falcon 9 going to return at landing zone 1.